Hi, I'm Katherine Eyring, and I'm an all-year gardener. With the rising food prices, there has never been a better time than now to start your own garden. Are you ready for a little garden tour? My garden is based in the northernmost part of Ohio, right on the shores of Lake Erie. Let me show you what's abundant in April. While so many people are waiting for warm weather to just plant their tomatoes and peppers, I'm already harvesting every single day. I make big salads with an abundance of bok choy and lettuce, radishes. I top the salads with fennel. I add in my early sprouting broccoli, which is purple florets. The leaves of the broccoli are so delicious, and at this time of year, there are no worms or bugs to be concerned about. It grows beautifully. Some days I'm adding asparagus, and some days pink celery. I look around the yard and see what's available to add to my salads. Salads don't get boring to me because there's always something different in the garden and then I can top it with meats, cheese, pecans, apricots, as in this picture. There are so many ways to vary a salad. What else is growing in the garden? Look at this garlic that's going to be harvested in mid to late July. And then I have Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and cauliflower growing. All of the leeks and onions that I planted weeks ago are coming up nicely, but I get really excited to see all the herbs coming alive again. Sage and oregano starting. And the lemon thyme is really abundant already. And then the lavender is just starting to come out. I'm adding more fruit into my yard. So I'm really happy to see my three new blueberry bushes made it through the winter. I have six fig trees in their first year of life and one in its second year. I have two areas of the yard with blackberries and raspberries. These ones are thornless and that's really nice but the other ones are growing on the outside of the fence and they are so sharp. However, I'm trying to train them along the fence so that I can be on the inside of my yard and just pick the berries without having to deal with those thorns. My sugar peas are growing nicely. Within a few weeks, they will be pretty far up this trellis and I will be harvesting them daily. Of course, the perennial flowers are coming up now too, like sedum and the beautiful bleeding hearts. So thank you so much for taking the tour with me and I'll see you again next month. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe.